Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Baseball Barn in Vacaville, California, Master Instructor with Epstein Hitting System and Online Hitting Academy. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget, hit the notifications button to receive all future videos. So, the basis of this video is, is essentially how to hit the ball farther or harder with just two simple moves or two simple adjustments. And what I mean by that, it's not necessarily mechanical, maybe one is, but not necessarily mechanical as it is more with approach and position at the plate. And it has to do with either how close or how far you stay away from the plate. What I find with younger players and, and even high school and maybe in, even in college, is they're always told to get up on the line and then swing, you know, try to hit the ball. I don't know if that's because they think if they're too far away, they can't out, hit the outside pitch. But when you get a player right up here, a couple of things happen. Number one, that natural fear of the ball comes in, they step away. Number two is if they do swing and they go to swing and that ball's middle to middle inside, instead of hitting, and I'm gonna pretend for a moment this is a, an alloy bat, instead of hitting a sweet spot like this, they go down here and start hitting farther down on the handle. And then the ball doesn't get out of the infield and they wonder, wow, I really put a good swing on that. And even the coach said, great swing. You must have just missed it or you jammed yourself. Was well, because they're standing too close to the plate. So I always back players off, even the little guys, an inch or two and maybe three to four inches off, where they're anywhere from seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 inches away from the plate. The other adjustment that they can make is what I refer to as either staying connected longer or not casting too soon, and that's getting the hands or the barrel away from the body. And essentially what will happen, I'm gonna go face on right now, essentially what will happen is they get into their launch position and begin to turn into this swing, what will happen is, is they'll pull their hands too early and it's typically the cause of the right hand will start pushing away and then they swing and they get out like this. Now, you can see my shoulder here, my hand is way outside that, but I'm still gonna be inside the ball. So the idea of keeping your hands inside the ball doesn't necessarily help with this, but if we work to stay connected and keep the barrel inside, now that you can see my right hand is lined up with my shoulder, as I release the barrel, my right hand is lined up with my shoulder. Obviously, a little more outside, a little more inside, these hand positions change a little bit as to where my bat releases. Now, it's still lined up with my shoulder, but if this is the plate and, and the camera is the pitcher, right field is this direction, I'm swinging into that direction with that hand still lining up with my shoulder, as well as my chest and the rest of my body. So if you're having problems with kids or kids that you think, man, they really should be hitting the ball farther, these two things could be affecting you and your player. Too close to the plate or they are releasing this bat this way and you'll see this elbow here and then everything's going out here and then they've got to pull around to either try to get the barrel to it or they're gonna hit here down on the handle. Hey, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it notifications button, and share this with all your family, friends, coaches, and players.